What's good? Today we're painting my guy Snow here, a sculpture that I made like a year ago. A little less than a year ago, but it's taken me forever to finally get it done. I painted it in the first month of 2020. And without further ado, let's get into it. This is the closest thing to stop motion that I can do at the moment. All right, so before I even get to talking about the painting process of this sculpture, I just want to say for those who don't know, Snow, my character here, is a Kupo bear toy. And you're like, what the hell is a Kupo bear toy or a Kupo bear? Kupo bears are a fictional kids toy slash plaything from the world of Onion City. Um, again, if you're new here, Onion City is pretty much the setting for most of my works. It's a fictional place based on where, I, where I'm from um, and where I've been. So it's kind of constantly evolving. Uh -huh. But anyway, when it comes to Snow, he's, he's one of the main characters in my in-progress comic book, Onion City Chronicle. He's definitely a bit of a character. He's, he's uh, very animated. Um, for a guy that used to be an inanimate object, he's very animated now. He was, um, yeah, he was, he was just a toy until his previous owner and friend kind of gave him what was left of his spirit and imagination. And he watched his friend's demise and then fled Onion City for about 150 years, so... You already know that's going to spark its own adventure series comic with, you know, Snow's 150 year adventure away from Onion City. Um, but anywho, back to this. When he came back, he was determined, you know, to take down those responsible for the demise of his friend in his hometown. And yeah, he's kind of a big deal in my fictional universe. Like, you see him in a lot of pieces, in a lot of illustrations, paintings, and of course the comic book. And this won't be the last time you hear or see of him. So uh, because of that, he was the f my first clay sculpture. And, you know, now we're, now we're painting it. So let's talk about the painting process a little bit. So if you haven't seen the creation of this sculpture, you should definitely go and check out the video for how I did. Basically, I went from sketch to sculpt. Um, I sketched a full body, you know, uh, illustration of snow and then I used it for reference when creating the sculpture using this modeling clay that I probably won't be using again for the next sculpture because it's way too mushy and soft and while I like the hand you know handmade hand touched feel of this sculpture I, I want to make it a little bit more precise and clean next time and I think I'm gonna transition away from modeling clay to like super sculpy or bakeable clay or maybe even um epoxy clay that seems to be more i guess i don't know i don't know what the word is to describe it but it just seems like when you make a shape you can make it just be that shape and it won't get mushy if it's wet i don't know it's better to show you than to tell you so stay tuned for when i show you um but for this video, we are painting the sculpture with acrylic paint, and it was super challenging. It took forever because you needed a shit ton of layers. Um, at one point, I think you saw I, I just painted him white and then painted over the white. And not only do you need an, a lot of layers, but as you're working with it, you might make a mistake, which means you have to go over it again, wait for it to dry, paint it over. It's just, it's just such a pain to paint, you know, sculptures because they're not the flat surface that I'm used to painting. Um, shout out to Ace of Clay on YouTube. That dude makes painting sculptures look easy. Like, it looks like he just gets it on the first try, no mistakes. Every section of the sculpture is just painted perfectly the first time and that's just not how this was. But, nonetheless, it was fun to see him come to life once I started adding colors. 
So let's just talk about the colors for a second. Um, Snow's outfit is a bit iconic at this point. He's got this uh, like violet blue um, hoodie on, his yellow track pants, and some boots, which I was like still figuring out what color I want to make them. I think in the comic I have them looking a little red, but here I, want, I made them black, made them look you know like military boots. He's got his, uh, his his fingerless gloves with some knuckle, um, like some not some brass knuckle, but yeah, like like some metal metallic studs on the knuckles. Green eyes, red hat with like a fur ball sticking out that's actually part of his head, um, and he's like a blue, you know, furry stuffed animal toy or stuffed Koopo bear, teddy bear. Um, type toy with a cigarette in his mouth because you know when you're when you're just a when you're just a toy bear um, you could smoke uh, you could chain smoke all the way to, to death and, and it ain't gonna do nothing nothing to you you ain't got no real lungs so he's a bit of a chain smoker he keeps a jet pack on that he's made from scrap metal that he's assembled himself and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much you know his look, if you will. Snow. My first sculpture is finally complete. Um, now that I got him painted and looking alive, gave him a quick photo shoot with the blue backdrop. My guy looking icy out here, pun intended. You know what time it is. Jetpack looking metallic. My guy's clean. The cigarette is lit. It's not a new port. I don't know what's, what what he smokes yet. We might have to make a fictional, you know, cigarette brand. For the comic but there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more sculptures from me let me know in the comments um whether you do or not they're coming i'm gonna just tell you right now but if you especially want to see one let me know i'd, I'd love to hear from you guys um till next time peace but before you go i wanted to mention some other very big news uh, if you haven't heard already, your boy just put out his first of many art books. Uh, Muddy Sketches Volume 1 is here. And it is basically a book. Well, you know it's a book. It's a collection of original sketches, ink drawings, and color illustrations created by yours truly uh, during 2019. And for the new decade, I wanted to start an annual tradition of collecting all of my sketch ideas and concepts, illustrations or ink drawings, and whether they're finished, unfinished, and I just I want to compile them into a book. Uh, the book, this book specifically, gives you exclusive access to my creative ideas, sometimes in their rawest form. You'll be able to experience the raw and original concepts and studies that later evolve into large-scale paintings. And for just $9.99, you can become a collector of my creative work and support me on my creative journey. I know you want this book on your coffee table, so we ain't even going to mention the Kindle edition. Well, we just did. The Kindle edition is for sale as well, the digital version for $3.99, I believe. Um, but get you a physical copy, bro. Buy volume one now, and we'll check back in 2029 to see who has all 10 books. Um, yeah, Muddy Sketches Volume 1, available on Amazon right now. Go get you. Peace.